Going green or being energy efficient is an easier task when you're ashore or aboard ship. It's not so easy when you're at a forward operating base, far from home, under rough conditions. MPS's Energy Academic Group is working to reduce that difficulty. They gathered experts from the private sector, academia, and the armed forces to our Monterey campus, all in an effort to develop a curriculum putting energy front and center in the planning stages. This is called the Energy Efficient Outpost Modeling Program, EEOMC, in a partnership between the Office of Naval Research and the Office of Secretary of Defense and the Naval Postgraduate School. We're working on ways to make outposts energy efficient. And NPS, because of its deep background in creating intellectual capital in, in the educational arena, is putting together the educational component of this EEOMC project. We expect to roll out the first increment of educational classes in about six months, but we wanted to run a dress rehearsal. So we've brought in 40 people from around the services, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, who are interested in energy efficient outposts. That is uh, HVAC and, and laundry and all those other things that suck up energy on a FOB, on a forward operating base. We're presenting to them what we've put together and they're gonna tell us whether we're on target or whether we've made a hash of it. And when you're making comments about whether something's good, bad, or indifferent, it has to be tagged to whether it's uh, the one, two, or three day class. One of the challenges we always face when we're setting up a base sort of far from um, you know, our established supply lines is how to keep that base supplied with energy, with fuel. One of the challenges we really had in the past in both Iraq and Afghanistan was the cost of getting fuel all the way to the forward operating bases. When I say cost, I'm talking about cost in lives uh, as well as cost in dollars. A lot of the lives we lost there were in protection of the fuel convoys. So, uh, you know, it's very important then to be efficient and effective with the fuel that we use at those forward operating bases. The current paradigm is to set up one tent, one generator. When we do that, it's very inefficient. So you have a lot of times the generator running at very low speeds, which is bad for the generator. It requires more frequent maintenance, more frequent replacement, and we're wasting a lot of fuel doing that. So when you look at the high cost of the fuel, we just can't do that anymore. We have new technologies now like solar and wind that are viable. We have smart grids we can enable to make these bases more effective and efficient. And we want to look at those technologies and enable the warfighter to be more effective when we're setting up contingency bases. This is not a matter of helping the comptroller save money and it's not about making environmentalists happy and saving fuel. This is about operational reach. It's about combat sustainability. It's about not having to call forward logistical resupply trains when the fuel or the water runs out. We want the efficiency to serve the effectiveness by allowing people to stay out longer, to do more. Imagine taking 10 pounds of batteries out of a Marine's backpack and then replacing them with M16 cartridges. Now the Marine is more durable. Now he's more lethal. Now he's more of a Marine. So if we could have rechargeable batteries, for example, and they do, this is a matter of efficiency serving the purposes of effectiveness. After the break, a special interview with Army Major Dennis D.J. Skelton.